good time. Yes, sir. You are. I hope the one of the great photographers of the world. And the translator. very good. Yeah. Yeah. One of the great photographers. But we had a meeting for about 20 minutes before coming here. It was about 30 minutes, I guess. And for that time, uh, our conversation was very interesting. Boy, if you could have heard that dialogue, what you would pay for that dialogue, that was good. So we're going to have a very busy day tomorrow, and we'll probably have a pretty quick dinner. And a lot of things are going to be solved, I hope, and I, I think it'll lead to wonderful, it'll lead to really a wonderful situation long term. And our relationship is a very special relationship. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Well, it's uh, looking like a very uh, uh, lighter atmosphere when they, compared to when they first sat down and the lights suddenly went off for uh, some unexpected special event that we did not get a closer look at. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Much lighter, and of course, much lighter when they first exchanged their greetings before the press. Uh, the, the, the two leaders actually seemed very tense, very rigid, but now it seems like they're relaxed, ready to have dinner, ready to have a good dinner. They're smiling, intimate smiles. So just to give our viewers a recap, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un says that he had a almost 30 minute long conversation with his counterpart, with his U.S. counterpart, and he said the conversation was, quote, very interesting. And the U.S. President Donald Trump says um, a lot of things will be solved tonight, if I heard that correctly. And he said um, he hopes that uh, what happens tonight will lead to some wonderful situations and some great results uh, to come after the summit tomorrow. So there I was able to spot the two leaders plus uh, their translators as well as the two, um, two uh, top aides from Pyongyang and Washington, the foreign minister and um, the, the head of the United Front Department from the North Korean side as well as the Mick Mulvaney the acting chief of staff from the White House and the State Secretary Mike Pompeo. Right, uh, it's quite a change in tone from President Donald Trump. Uh, initially, before the summit, he tried to lower expectations, saying, "We'll see, we'll see," and uh, this this is just one of many more summits to come. How do you read the changes in attitude, change in attitude from President Donald Trump, saying there's going to be something incredible tomorrow? So. So from last year's experience that President Trump always uh, said uh, something, something big, that he's going to achieve something nice, and, and he always mentioned that his relationship with the chairman Kim Jong-un is the key to the make, uh, make an achievement uh, this time. So uh, we, we don't know yet or what is going on between two countries uh, in terms of the uh, negotiations so far. However, President Trump, uh, President Trump mentioned that uh, there is all false reportings so far with regard to what can be achieved this time in, in Hanoi. So I think he's again uh, attacking the media for the, for, for the false reporting uh, for him. And then I think that he's uh, probably he's going to say uh, he made a successful summit this time regardless the what kind of outcome that he's going to have this time. So. So what kind of criteria that we are going to have is the key to evaluate the summit this time, but for, the pro for President Trump, any progress uh, from the last year's summit would be evaluated as a success this a time. A very low bar. Yes. And we talked a little bit about setting up a liaison office uh, uh, for the two mm -hmm. sides. Uh, for the two Koreas, it's not that difficult because it just it's just over the border, or they can set something on the border. But for the U.S., of course, this is going to be, it could be a tedious process, right? 
So it, it's going to, it's not going to be an easy job for the two governments to set up the liaison office in the capital of uh, capital of each country. However, uh, there was an agreement between the U.S. and the North Korea in the past that they would exchange the liaison office. So uh, since there's a template uh, from the past that it's not going to be that, kind, that difficult. However, when uh, U.S. government uh, promised to have liaison office in the past that North Korea promised to uh, dismantle uh, Yongbyon, and they actually promised that they are going to uh, remove all the existing nuclear weapons and materials and going back to NPT and going back under the IAEA.